Aloha, this is Mayor Mike Victorino from the Maui County. I would like to thank all the participants of the statewide Homeless Awareness Conference. This year's conference team is moving forward together. Together we are facing the ongoing challenges of homelessness in our communities and the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic. This conference gives us an opportunity to learn from each other, to create solutions that work best for each of our counties. We can and must be open to lessons learned. We and what we have worked with and what has and has not worked. Partly, it is our responsibility to this COVID-19 that the County of Maui has purchased and erected 23 pallet homes in the parks in central Maui. These are safe and temporary shelters for people at high risk of infection from this virus. We have prioritized the ages, the disability of those with pre-existing health conditions, as well as high scores for homeless vulnerability. We have worked diligently to make these temporary shelters available for those who are in need. Early next year, I expect to have 12 former homeless families up in residence at our former dormitories at the University of Maui College. These structures have been renovated and now uh, will be, and with the support of state funds, will be made available to these people. Our community has pulled together to work tirelessly to help those who most impacted by COVID-19. The county-sponsored Hawaii Emergency Laulima Partnership Program, also known as HELP, has provided millions of dollars in financial assistance to people for food, rent, mortgages, utilities, and other essential, essentials to keep our families afloat and prevent homelessness. I'd like to thank you for your commitment, your compassion, and to all of you, especially during these difficult times, I say mahalo, aloha. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to present something that I just said to Sharon. Uh, I'm a mayor that's going to be leaving this job in less than a month. I've been asked many times what is the most important thing, the things that I've been addressing, and without hesitation, uh, this subject of homeless has got to be right there on top. Why is it that important? Because it reflects who we are. It reflects where we're going and how we treat those who are in need. Of all the things I am proud of, and there are several, you know, that were uh, got the headlines more so than this project, because who wants to talk about the homeless all the time? And, uh, I think I found out why. Kind of digs into your conscious of what uh, should be done and what we're not doing. I take this public opportunity to thank Sharon. She has been instrumental with uh, another man of Roy Takemoto in being the individuals for Hawaii County to have what we have, focusing and being a conscious to us of what we have to do. I'm so proud of a project that did in Kona, a project that is from A to Z and not just some place to tuck away the homeless. I'm so very proud of the program that started in Hilo, again, from A to Z. I'm so proud of the program they did in regards to temporary shelters. The whole scheme of what we have to do, including of uh, those with needs for emotional issues, besides a place to tuck them away. And that's what we have been doing for a long time. Close your eyes, tuck them away. And this, these programs, and I will say, uh, uh, none of this would have been possible, first of all, without these two that have uh, mentioned and those that helped them and there were many obviously especially on uh, the nonprofits. i am so thankful for the ohana zoning that made this all possible for the counties and naturally without that because of economic times we would never be able to do it the focus here is to thank all of you that are videoing this 
to publicly thank the people that did it for us in Hawaii County because this was a long project. I'll take the one in corner. Took them uh, over three years from start to scratch because we had to find a property. We had to get it uh, the way of legality and design and EIS and everything. So it was a long road on many of these projects. So you can see the determination you need to get it going and see it to fruition. And for all of those in this audience, I'm pretty sure that you are the same quality as far as what you care for. For To you, I thank you. And for all, I say this, know this. Someone said it a long time ago, how we treat the less needy is a measurement of the kind of people we are. And I wish that we were all like the people that made these programs possible. So thank you for this conference and the very best to you and keep working. We need you. Thank you. This is Mayor Derek Kawakami from Kauai. And I want to talk a little bit about the five things my mom taught me. It's not the only thing she taught me was the five things that stuck around and really resonate. The first thing she would always say is to always say thank you, that a thank you is golden. So on behalf of the County of Kauai, the Office of the Mayor, we just want to say thank you for all the work that you do to pick people up and help people rise up. The second thing she said is to always forgive, that holding things in does no good, so always try to forgive people. The third thing she said is to never judge, that only God could judge. And the fourth thing she said is to always leave people or places better than what you found them in. And last but not least, the fifth thing she always taught me is that there's only one good time to look down on people. It's after they've fallen and you're helping them off the ground. And that's exactly what you folks do day in and day out. And for that, we are extremely thankful that we have folks like you. When people fall down, you pick them back up. You never judge and you show your gratitude by helping others. And that's what it's all about. Look, homelessness and hunger is even more prevalent now with COVID-19. And we shouldn't be joking about it because it's real. As we go out to those food distribution lines, we can see in the faces of our people, the desperation, the fear, and quite frankly, the shame. We have to break the stigma. We have to let people know that there is no shame, that we all need a helping hand, and we all need help. We're all humans and we're all here to lean on each other. So on behalf of the County of Kauai, we wanna thank you for the work that you do. We wanna thank you for the services that you provide. And we wanna thank you for being advocates of those folks that need the help the most. God bless you all. Have a happy Thanksgiving and have a great conference. It's amazing what is already set up on the island. Um, and then it's amazing the places that we're, we're going out of necessity due to the pandemic, but then also just, you know, new ideas that are coming up um, that, you know, normally would with that a, a pandemic in the, in the present. So it just, I'm working with really great people and uh, within this housing agency at the county, but then also our, our agencies out in the community. And it's a really amazing thing to be a part of. And I'm just very thankful um, that coming on board being such a newbie that they really took me under their wing. And we've got some really exciting things um, coming up and um, a mayor and a council that's really interested in, in finding real solutions um, to, our, to our, our social issues really at large, but of course homelessness specifically. Thank you so much, Ashton. And please stick around in case anybody has any questions that they'd like to direct specifically to Kauai County. And of course, we have David Nakama here, the Homeless Program Coordinator for Maui County. David, would you like to deliver a few brief remarks? Hi, Adam. Yes, um, I just want to thank uh, our leadership on Maui, that would be Mayor uh, Victorino and, and Laurie Suhako, the uh, our Department of Housing and Human Concerns Director for their great leadership and um, just pushing forward the, the whole movement on this issue of homelessness on Maui. Um, and I also want to thank um, Mark Alexander for heading up this uh, conference and his team. You know, it's a real good working um, collaboratively statewide even with Scott Marshy in the governor's office. So, 
and and also want to give a shout out to the Maui providers who, um, you know, we couldn't make any movement at all without their their hard work and dedication here. I know everybody's getting hungry right now, so I just want to keep this short. Just wanted to thank all of you for joining in and um, having a focus on this uh, issue that we have. Thank you. Thank you so much, David. And I'd like everyone to uh, stick around for just a bit in case we have any questions uh, come up. Um, so if we can just stick around for a few moments, and I'd just like to remind anyone who's looking for CEU credit that there is the link uh, for a PDF download of the conference evaluation and CEU application form available on uh, the Office of Housing website. That's honolulu.gov slash housing. And you can find it in the 2020 State Homeless Awareness Virtual Conference link. Uh, right in there. I'd also like to reiterate uh, once again, thank you to everyone who participated. We had a record number of attendees and participants tuning into this virtual conference, this new way of getting together. The great thing about it, uh, and it's something that we're learning about, if, if we can say that anything good has come out of this pandemic, is I think we've all become a bit more adaptable. And this is a great example of how we can reach more people by being more adaptable by being able to access things online. We now have access to a wider swath of people who might not have otherwise attended. So from the bottom of our hearts at the city and county of Honolulu, I want to thank you all so much for being here. Thank you all so much for attending. I look forward to seeing everyone tomorrow for tomorrow's uh, events, the plenary and uh, breakout sessions, and of course, the closing of the event. I don't see any questions coming in for any of our neighbor island mayors, so I'd like to thank you all from the bottom of our hearts for your dedication to helping this most disenfranchised group on the face of the planet for continuing to fight even against all adversity for people who have no one else to fight for them. Even when we have other things to think about, we have other things that we're worried about right now. We cannot forget that uh, it's one thing to deal with the COVID pandemic from the comfort of our own homes and it's another thing entirely to deal with it with no support structure or support network whatsoever. So thank you all so much for being here. We're gonna end today's plenary session, uh, the closing plenary a little early so we can all get lunch. And I look forward to seeing everyone again tomorrow. Aloha, mahalo.